But let's go now to Julia Lubova, who is in Moscow for us. Um, Julia, what reaction has there been from the Kremlin? Well, uh, we are getting reports from the local media, and uh, they are quoting uh, Russian authorities who say that they are treating uh, this incident as an act of terrorism in St. Petersburg earlier today. Uh, the metro station in St. Petersburg, the whole of the metro system is closed down in St. Petersburg, and uh, all the people have been evacuated, and public transport is now working for free to take people around the city. Now we are getting reports that the blast took place in one station uh, at, at 2.40 uh, local time, 2.40 p.m. local time. There were earlier reports that there were two blasts at two separate stations, but the one station that the blast occurred in, according to Russian officials, is a very busy central station with many connections, so certainly there was a lot of people there at the time. Uh, the cause of this blast is still unknown, and there is an investigation underway. What we do know is up to 10 people have been killed, and uh, some 25 people have been injured, including one child. And where is um, Vladimir Putin? Because we, we had, he was in the vicinity, wasn't he? he, had, he didn't he have a meeting with a delegation from Belarus? That's right. Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, was indeed in St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg is still is there. Uh, that's his hometown, and he was there for a forum uh, and early, for earlier today. And uh, certainly, Vladimir Putin has been told about this uh, incident, and uh, he is uh, he's kept in touch. Uh, he's kept uh, told about all the updates about this incident. And uh, Vladimir Putin is say, has said that uh, this investigation is now underway, and all causes for uh, this explosion are being considered now. And uh, he also said that all those affected, injured, and otherwise, uh, are, uh, their relatives are receiving help from uh, medical staff there. And uh, so certainly Vladimir Putin is aware. He is in the city, and he is aware of what's going on with, and all the latest information on this uh, um, incident. And he said that all of the causes um, are, are being considered. Clearly, a lot of people are, are talking about terrorism. Um, too early to, to start talking about blame, I suppose, but what, what, what's, the, what's the situation? Where could the blame be? Well, that's right. So the Russian authorities are now treating this uh, as an act of terrorism. They are not given any details just yet. They're saying that an investigation is underway to establish exactly what happened at that metro station. Earlier, there were some reports that Vladimir Putin was supposed to pass near that metro station, but the Kremlin has since, the Kremlin spokesman, Dmitry Peskov, has since denied that, said that that's not true, that was, that was never meant to happen. So we don't know exactly what happened there. The, an investigation is underway, and we'll be bringing more details as we hear from the authorities. And Julia, what can you tell us about the, the, the state of security um, in, in St. Petersburg, in Moscow, in Russia in general? Because the, the security authorities, they, they knew about terror plots going on. But um, how, what, what is the situation? How, how serious is it? Well, that's right. So uh, Russia is uh, all too familiar with uh, terrorism in the past. And of course, we know that Moscow has had a uh, terrorism act of terrorism on its metro station uh, before in the past and uh, some, a similar situation happened in Moscow. So certainly the uh, security services, the police, they are all too aware that this might happen. And uh, in general, even though there was never any red alert or anything like this in the run-up, but certainly the authorities were too, uh, aware that uh, a situation like this could occur any time. And uh, we don't know exactly what uh, happened in the run-up to this incident. And uh, certainly the uh, security uh, or the authorities are saying, say, telling us now that, uh, uh, that they don't know exactly what happened and they will bring us those details as soon as they are established.